everyone. This it's is that uh, time again. <laughs> it's a uh, B movie den for March That's of right. 2019. Episode three. Episode. This is the third one. The third one, as they say. Um, really, a poop joke. Yes. And uh, today we're going to do another movie. The last we had a, some good reception off the last one, which was Flesh Eater. I uh, wonder what we're going to get today. Nope, it's, uh, it's your choice today. It is. I, I get the draw out of the hat. Alright, so, without further ado. Alright, here we go. Alright. We got Day of the Animals. Let me tell you something, Hot Shot. This movie. Oh, we're back. So we're back. We finally finished the movie of Day of the Animals. A little backstory with this. Uh, Which back? To, how far do you want to go back? Uh, shirtless Leslie Nielsen, or do you want to go back to racist Leslie Nielsen, or do you want to go back to you know ozone layer? Can we just uh, fast forward to when he's a naked gun and not a rapist <laughs> and a racist and an asshole? This movie stars Leslie Nielsen. It's from 1977. This is a few years before Naked Gun and Airplane. Um, so this is like kind of like the tail end of his schlocky like 70s. This is, it is before he's like known for comedy yes. and you know creep show and all that. So this is. Oh, man. If Al Gore was going to make a movie about the ozone layer in the 70s, this would be it. Yeah. Inconvenient Truth would be Day of the Animals. <laughs> um, yeah, so this movie was um, it was an interesting one. Yeah, basically it's what happens. The ozone layer has been destroyed by CFCs and all that, and this is, my, this is one of the things that might happen you know, when the animals all of a sudden turn on the human race. <laughs> yeah, and by animals, we mean mostly dogs. Uh, mostly dogs, a, a lot of birds, and one or Coyotes, two... Coyotes, bears. Mountain lion, there's a mountain lion there. A bear. Um, they show tarantulas a bunch. S snakes were there. Um, rats. Oh, 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 the rats. <laughs> can we talk about the... We're going to jump all over the place, but can we talk about the rats? <laughs> Which was probably the funniest scene in the entire movie. Because you get to see somebody like the rat, the rat carrier off camera going like. He's yeah. obviously throwing the rats. Like, just off camera. chucking them at the actor. <laughs> yeah, and the actor's like, getting ah. pelted in the face. And he's always like, "It was the rats," and you're just like, "It was oh. nothing. It was nothing, Ethel. Just a goddamn rats, okay?" <laughs> like it's a, like, oh, like, put oh. your clothes on. It's like, oh, it's Let's go. Rat. It's just the rats, okay? And the version we watched was this DVD version. From digital versus uh, yeah, yeah, digital version. It's just DVD, DVD limited. L yeah, limited. It looks like this. Yeah, I think it's like one the of the first. The back looks like this. It's just so, like I think it's like one of the first DVD releases. If it, it might just be the first DVD release of Day of the Animals. Yeah, this was released in 1998. So the 1998 there is DVD no, release of Day of the Animals. There is no menu on this. It goes right to the movie. Yes. If you hit menu option, nothing. Yeah. It just it's just plays the movie. Yes. That's it. So this is the version we watched. There's a better version. Oops. Um yes. Amazon has a better version than this. Yes. And uh <laughs> this movie, uh it's it's interesting. It's a mixed bag with the, the cinematography of it. It's a mixed bag because if it's a day shot, there's some interesting things going yeah. on. It's pretty it's much night, all natural lighting. If it's night, you might as well just look at your phone. And just listen to the dialogue, because you don't see anything. They use the campfire. <laughs> yeah, the campfire, which, guess what, is not that bright. The light, seven characters in one sitting. Like, it's just, it just didn't work. Uh, night scenes were like, ugh. I don't know if Day for Night, I think Day for Night was not a big thing back then. So maybe they just, um, as, you know. Sorry about that. There's cats everywhere. The animals are attacking us right now. They're, the they're attacking us. His and the cats, hat. his cats are are attacking us right now. Um, but yeah, like there's like it's like I'm gonna say the movie is boring as shit for the first thirty minutes, forty minutes, first half of the movie. It's boring as shit. Uh, very boring. Uh, Basically, just, until Hot Shot starts. <laughs> once Leslie Nielsen says Hot Shot. 
<laughs> it's all over. It, it, because it, because it, for the first half, I feel just, like I feel like Leslie Nielsen got so bored. It was like I'm just gonna start fucking around, calling everyone hot shot. Because for the first forty five well, minutes, he's it's just racist, Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, it's just for la- for, for, kimosabi. For, it's it's just kimosabi. It's like, did you know that Indians don't cry <laughs> or can't well, cry, something like that? Oh don't cry or can't cry. One of the two. And then it's just you know. Look, hot shot. I've had up to here, hot shot. Hey, hot shot, 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 hot shot. And then there's there's three acts to his character. His name is Jensen, Jensen, or whatever. There's three acts to his characters. Like I said, he's just kind of like a racist guy with a walking stick. Uh, and the second one, he's like hot shot. He's like I'm a businessman. I know my thing. And I'm in advertising. And then the third act of Leslie Nielsen is I want to rape. I want to rape you. I won you. I killed a man for you. Yeah, I want to rape you, pretty much. And that's pretty much the three acts of Leslie Nielsen. And then I'm going to fight a bear. Yes, uh, we're going to jump to the bear. Like, he basically it ends up... It, basically, the group splits off from <laughs> Hotshot and Jensen, or Nielsen. Um, I was going to call Nielsen. It yeah, was... they, they, spot, they, 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 they split off because it's like a power play, even though we're just like... I don't notice the power struggle until now. <laughs> and then they cut to like a thunderstorm, and he's now shirtless. Why are you shirtless in a thunderstorm? I don't know, Mister Wilderness, Wilderness Man. Well, maybe he got cold. That's true. He uh, just took off his shirt because he's. You mean hot? Well, he, he, got he hot. well, he, he's hot shot now. He oh, wants to be the oh, hot shot. Oh, he's the hot shot now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He, now he, he's okay, alpha now hot shot. Okay, alpha hot shot. Okay, yes. so he takes off his shirt, and then he's just like you know walking around, and. Then, uh, the mother's like, no, I don't want to do this or something like that. He's like, you're going to move, bitch, or something like that. And then he calls the kid a cockroach. It's like, it's like, would you rather be called Kimosabi, you know, hot shot, or cockroach? You're like, you're cockroach. You're, and you're just like, I don't want to be called cockroach. And then, that's, that's, that's the least of what I want to be called and here. And then, uh, <laughs> he, uh, kills this girl's boyfriend. Out of the blue. Out of the blue, I don't know. He's all of a sudden just went nuts. It's, and then he's <laughs> like, you're mine, I'm going to rape you, whatever. Then a bear shows up, and then... Leslie Nielsen gets covered in mud and fights a bear, and that's the highlight of the movie, is he fights a bear. While shirtless. <laughs> while shirtless. Um, the other two subplots, there's like a lot of subplots in this one. You have Cancer Man, yeah, can- who, has, who has cancer, the football player has cancer, and then you have Bird Watching Man, who just takes pictures. <laughs> and um, you have... Uh, I forget what her name was, but it was Pretty Lady. Yeah, Pretty Lady, who was a who was a anchor what? woman slash reporter. You're like anchor man, anchor woman, please. Uh, and then a reporter, one of those. She was originally a school teacher. We learned a lot about our backstory, and no one cared. <laughs> um, we have Hotshot, who is just cop ranger. No, he, what the fuck what was he? He, he was he was a, not really a tour guide. I was I was trying to explain to him at the beginning of the movie. It's like some people actually go out in nature. For uh, for fun, he's just like, ugh, That's who weird. does that? <laughs> who does that? Anyway, <laughs> so we have, he's kind of, is he a ranger, I guess? I don't know. I, I guess the closest thing to say to him would be like a survival instructor, survival guide. Okay. He uh, might be a ranger as he's well. He's kind of your main character. Uh, you had um, Leslie Nielsen. You have Mother. Who's and Son. Much, who's pretty much a mother in the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory. Um might have been the mother. They the want to be there. And you have Kid, who likes the Native American's ways. <laughs> and you have the Native American character. And, uh... You had, two, you had two couples. You had the, the... You had the... You had the couple that, sadly, were killed and raped. Uh, by Liza Nielsen. Uh, and then you had the other couple of... Striped you, Shirt Man. And girl that gets attacked by... Animals, animals horribly by birds horribly yes. basically the two couples were happy couple and fighting couple and the fighting couple uh so the, the girl dies and then you know it's just the striped shirt guy and he meets a little girl that's stranded in the river and that's that subplot that goes on there's like three there's like three subplots going it, on at the same time it, it, it's just a pyramid oh, scheme sorry, of I'm sorry. subplots i'm sorry there's a fourth one because you forgot about the old man cop Oh yeah, and then you forget about the sheriff who who wants you know a uh, what was it? It was, it was I want a size and a beer. He's and like I want a size and a beer. And you're like what the hell is a size? And what they, is a size? Yeah. And then he's like he gets this plate of stuff. And it's just like they say that, sides. It's like that's what that's what you thought he said. He's like no, it's just a size. And you're looking at it. It's like looks like a burger, fries, some ribs. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like boy, there's some weird stuff going. I want to see this thing about the ozone on the news. There's yeah. just some weird <laughs> things going on out there. 
I'm really worried about those guys on the mountain. You know what? This calls for some... I want a slice of that pineapple pie. Better put a heap of ice cream on it. Yeah. What a, what a great, what a concerned man he was. Uh, <laughs> That's a cop for you in a small mountain they town. Basically, the movie like is boring <laughs> as shit for two thirds of it, and then the last third, like the last half hour, Hot Shot gets into action. <clears throat> When, basically when they've split off, that's when the movie really gets interesting, because it was the Nielsen fighting a bear, but you also have that really cool, like, they're running into the helicopter thing, and, you know, the dogs, like, okay, it's dogs. But it gets more interesting when you're with Hotshot and his crew, and they're hiding in the cabin, and the dogs start attacking. I really like the film editing that shot, and then that whole scene, because it's very rapid, like, kind of, yeah. you know... Reaction shot of a character, character that get cut to like the door, like the wood is being pressed against by the dogs. Yeah. It's a really cool, like, kind of editing. And it's very quick. Yeah, it's very good editing, I think. And it's actually the first time you see, a, like, an actual animal attack scene that's not in the dark. Yeah. Because um, most of them, almost yes. all of them are just yes. night shots, poorly lit, mm -hmm. which was probably done so you didn't see the animal handlers, Yeah. you know off to the side controlling because the other animal attacks at night was like a wolf, a mountain lion, and a bear. Yeah. So you probably had handlers very close at hand. And the dogs, you know, they were German shepherds. And what were the other ones? Uh, they weren't shepherds, the ones at the helicopter. What were they? I don't know. They're dogs. <laughs> They're dogs. Wolves, whatever. But they, they, they weren't <laughs> shepherds, but they were another dog. So they were probably... Easier the control for the animal handlers. Basically, the movie's a lot of dogs and a lot of shots of birds. Yeah. So basically, all the all the daytime attacks were the birds and the uh, the dogs. But the fish didn't attack. Well, the fish didn't attack, but really, they like I said, like I said, there's no piranha there. So, um, but yeah, like uh, I, I don't have much to say about this movie. It's kind of like it's there. It's a movie that's just there. <laughs> it's not the greatest movie. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. Like. I oh. didn't hate it as much. I wasn't groaning as much as, uh, let's say, uh, Flesh Eater. Flesh Eater was not groaning as much, but I wasn't laughing as hard as I did with Deadly Prey. This one's like super in the middle and super like forgettable. I'll always remember Hot Shot and Leslie Nielsen fighting a bear. Everything but else. But you could do without him, you know, with the rape. That's a little much. Yeah, that was, that was like. Here, good good thing it was a complete darkness. I didn't see anything. <laughs> um, but then would you really want to see anything? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you really want to see something? No, oh, no, okay. no, no. Wait a minute, I'm man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was kind of like, I was like, okay, I'll move away from the rape. We're, we're going to move away from that subject. Um, like, surely you must be joking. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. I mean, it was so, just... So, how many hot shots out of five would you give it? I'd give it a solid 2.3. Oh, we're not doing a 2.3. <laughs> if you're doing it, it's I'm going to give it two. All right. Give it two. I am leaning towards the same thing. I it would be like one point five, the lowest it would be. But Man, I, I, love, I love lovely, I love Leslie Nielsen, and I like animal attack stories, especially when they when they're more towards the realistic side of things. Like I love Jaws and all that kind of things, but the the acting of it is actually really good. Yeah, but the lighting kind of bugs me on it. It's which very is dry too. I mean, dry doesn't have to be that bad. I mean, Grizzly is actually really good. That, like, that's something kind of thing. Which, actually, the bear is also in the movie Grizzly. <clears throat> Didn't you say... Oh, here's a fun fact. You said that the the bear in this, the offspring of this bear was if, in... If, if, I, if I remember correctly, yeah, the offspring of this bear is also... is like Bart the Bear or something like that, which is the, the bear from Great Outdoors. If so, I remember correctly. And so I'd, I'd have movie, to double-check that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. This movie <laughs> has like seven degrees of Kevin Bacon. Seven <laughs> degrees to John Candy. That'd be one degree. Two degrees, but yeah. Two degrees to John Candy through the bear. Yeah. Wow. I have more of a better appreciation for this movie. Not really, but I'm going <laughs> to give it two out of five hot shots. <laughs> you get that, Kimasabi? Do you get that, or whatever, your cockroach? Look, you damn hot shot yourself. All right. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I like Why the, don't you go hot shot yourself? <laughs> Why don't you tell the audience that, hey, you can actually subscribe to the YouTube channel and get more of these episodes for free. Oh, my God. You can also share it. You, you could can, share it. You could share it to people and so people know about through this. Through Facebook, through yes. Instagram, through your Twitter. Yes. 
And uh, play some suggestions also, because we draw it out of hat. We mostly take stuff that we find out and put it in the hat. Yeah. Um, we scour it through our Amazon and stuff like that and our own DVD collections, but we try Netflix and stuff like that. But there's so many things on Netflix. So if you see anything Netflix, Hulu, uh, Ver, whatever, Shutter, whatever. Remember, these are going to be bad movies. These aren't going to be like, you know... Jaws. B-movie. B-movie. Yeah, these are these are bad movies. I it, mean, it doesn't have to be terrible movies. Trust me, I would like to have an enjoyable movie. Um, do not let it be enjoyable. I love watching him suffer. Let it be intelligible. Don't let it be Attack of the Giant Leeches, which uh, is a movie, and which is an episode we will never air. Um, <laughs> because we never. That is episode two point seven, basically. <laughs> uh, that movie. Uh, yeah, I couldn't watch that one. But anyway. Um, Make suggestions, because we might have missed one on our search. And let us know, yeah. and, you know, just throw them out there. Even if it's a movie that we're probably never going to do on the show, like, it's not, if you don't think it's a B-movie, but a movie we've never seen before, I would love just to watch it. Oh, yeah, we love watching yeah. movies. Yeah, even if it's not a B-movie, let, let us know um, in the comment section. Obviously, don't say, you guys see Avatar. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, let us know in the comment section below. Share, like, or subscribe, whatever. So yeah, I think that's about it. That's about it for this episode. Yes, so, I would say I would agree. So until next time, I'm Wade. I'm Gary. And we will see you later, everyone. Have a good hot shot.